Today we're looking at something interesting here. We've got two TI calculators. We're running different software on each of them. The black one's running Houston Tracker. As you can see, it's set up as like an old school tracker. On the left, I've got song, synthesizer, notes, etc. On the right uh, is drum patterns. The middle, I'm not using either of those patterns right now. Over here is Axe Synth. Uh, so this is interesting. It plays kind of like a guitar if you set it to like EAD, GB, and you can actually see it kind of sets it up that way. So we'll give you some actual sound from this. You know, you're pretty, we're dealing with one bit audio, which is pretty interesting. It's coming out of the, uh, the serial port of the TI calculator. Um, so I've got a DJ mixer here set up, some effects pedals, more than you'd probably usually have, and then also these little amplifiers, um, preamps kind of specifically for this application. Um, but if you put like some reverb or something on this, it starts to sound pretty interesting. Reverb and flanger, it gets, gets really thick. But there's no sequencer on here, so you can shorten the note length, lengthen the note length, and if you change it from like fixed to continuous, if you can see it, um, it'll repeat the note. And the length will kind of get a really nice drone effect there. So over here on Houston Tracker, I'm going to play a pattern. And like I said, it's got both notes and percussion. And we'll be able to kind of play along with it. calculators and a two-channel mixer. Hope you had fun watching. If you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments. I know this is absolutely ludicrous, but nonetheless, if this intrigues you, like, please reach out. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Cheers.